Are we recording? I think yes, we are recording. Um, God, how how they start? Okay, um, so for today we're gonna unbox and review this this tiny little thing here from Leo Photo. So what is up, everyone? Jay Flores here, and this video is going to be in all English. Patay ako dito. Anyway. Welcome to my channel. If you are new here, I do almost everything related to photos, videos, product reviews, and whatnot. So if you are interested on those, in those, please subscribe and ring that bell. Like, share, and comment if ever you're gonna like this one. First off, I just want to give a big, big thank you to Leo Photo for sending me this thing right here, which is the MT. 02C with the LHZ dash, dash, I mean dash, 22 ball head together with some other products right there. They did not pay me to do this review, so this is going to be a non biased, honest, opinionated review. Without further ado, let's. What did I just say? Without further ado, let's unbox. The, I was supposed to be unbox. Let's unbox this bad boy. Okay, so this is the packaging right here. As you can see, Leo photo and you have some specs here at the back of what's inside. That's MT-02C plus the LH-22 tripod kit. I assume this is the mini tripod. So what's in the box? You have the tools, the manuals and whatnot. Yeah, warranty card as well. It's, it's all there. Let's just save this for later. You have a carrying pouch. And I assume, of course, the mini tripod is inside. So let's unzip. I just, I just want to hear that zip right there. Yeah, that's nice. And I, I'm afraid I could not use my pocket knife. I was really excited to use this pocket knife here. So anyway, going back to the video, what's inside the carrying pouch? This feels nice. This is somewhat covered in foam. It looks like somewhat a, how do you say this? A bicycle seat. And of course, inside, there you go, directly straight to the point. This is the Leo Photo MT-02C plus the LH-22 ball head. So that's it. That that's basically it. There's nothing else inside except for the tools and the manual and the warranty card. For the specs of this bad boy, this can hold up to 5 kilos. This small but can hold up to 5 kilos. 5 kilos is just perfect for small compact cameras like this one, the one I'm recording as well, the Sony A7C. And of course, with the proper mounting system or the proper adapters, you can mount your mobile phones and of course your action cameras. So this is just weight at 213 grams. It's that light. If you ask me, the design is well built. It does not look cheap at all, especially this knob right here at the ball head of that LH22. That's just perfect. If you're worried that this is not really great in your hands, trust me, it feels amazing. The grip is just perfect. I could not explain it to you further, but nonetheless, you should just trust me on this one. You have some rubbers here that would help very well for this one not to stick. So you could just place it right there and no matter what you do, you could just... So aside from this being a standard tabletop mini tripod, what you can do here is, as you can see, there's an arrow in there. I don't know if, if you can see that clearly in the camera. You could just pull this down and three sides and you could lay this even flatter. So that would help very much if you want to use that. There's this, this, just this one is somewhat... Ah, okay. So you need to pull that back before you could pull the arrow. Okay. So there you go. And of course, as well as this one. If you want to go for lower shots and whatnot, you should try and do that. But for me, much that that sounds nice. Wait, just just listen to this. 
Oh, uh, that sounds nice. Yeah, going back, this is just the way I'm gonna use it for sure. I'm gonna place it here whenever I'm doing live stream and maybe- Of course, if I have my monitor here, I could just take a look at that or another light source in there. So this is this is very, very perfect. For the ball head, do not be fooled by its size, especially the quick release plate because the plate is just this, this small. How small is that? It has a 1 4th inch mounting screw, which is suitable for majority of the cameras right now and what not. So what we're gonna do next is we're gonna try this out. We're gonna attach our Nikon. Nikon, did I just say Nikon? Nikon J1, which I'm not sure if this is still out in the market right now. This is not usable anymore because this one's broken. But I just want you guys to see how this mini tripod looks like when you're gonna attach your compact camera. I really wanted to try it with the A7C, but then again, I only have one camera, so I can't do that for you. It is already attached at the bottom. So here, this is a perfect compact setup for vlogging. You could just attach your mic in there, not on this camera because this does not have a hot shoe mount and whatnot. This is how it looks like with your compact camera. And of course, you could attach your Sony A7C, your action camera, and your iPhone or your phone in general. I'm not talking about just iPhone. So let me just put this aside. And we're gonna talk about the pros and cons of this mini tripod. So now for the pros and cons, let's do with pros first. Number one, I love the minimal design. It suits me very well because as you all know, I am a somewhat minimalist type of person. I just love the subtle design. Number two, the size of this mini tripod is just perfect. It is mini, but it's just perfect because you have this carrying pouch and you can just put it in your pocket if you want to. Number three pro, the ball head quick release plate is the perfect for run and gun since it saves you a lot of time setting up. You just have to put that there and then tighten up the screw. So I think that's for the pros. And now for the con, I could just probably just name one, just one. It is not as versatile as other mini tripods. Like you just have this option right here, handheld. And of course, if you want to go lower, you could go lower. Oh, how did I do that? Right there, right there, and right there. And that's it. You cannot mount this on a pole. You cannot mount this on a tree or whatnot. But then again, I am not that type of person. So this suits me very well. So that's for the pros and cons. And if you are interested on getting one of this, I will place the links down in the description box. So please check that out. Thank you again, Leo Photo, for sending me this bad boy along with those items right there in the coming videos i'm gonna do a review of that one yeah i think that's it thank you thank you for watching and this episode is again all in english so i had some struggles well not really struggles just, I, I just can't be myself with pure english content so if you like this one never forget to subscribe like share comment road to 1500 is on the way god bless stay safe my after credits will be in tagalog peace Ang hirap nito pero this this one is pretty nice. Hindi lang siya masadong available on the market right now locally. Pero if interesado ka, merong link jan sa baba. You could visit them out. Leo Photo is really really underrated kasi hindi ko pa nagigita to dito sa Pinas. Watch out for that carbon fiber tripod yung please.